Mm. What color are those eyes of yours? Uh, statistically speaking, they're most likely to be some shade of brown. Since vision is our dominant sense, it's no wonder that eye color can seem so important to people. But how mm -hmm. does this whole rigmarole actually work? What determines your eye color? Genes. I mean, in a way, the answer is indeed genetic, but it's not that simple. It's not just one gene switching on or off. Other factors can affect your eye color too, like blood vessels, your age, and so on. It's true, for instance, that some babies' eyes change color as they grow up. That's freaky. That's just one freaky weird thing about babies. Anyway, different episode, back to genes. As of 2014, scientists still aren't completely sure how many genes affect your eye color. They've isolated up to 16 genes that play some part in determining individual color. However, it seems that two genes specifically in chromosome 15, their neighbors called HERC2 and OCA2, these play the biggest role in determining what color your eyes will actually be. And let's keep in mind that when we talk about common or rare eye colors, uh, we're talking about estimated world averages because in some regions of the world, other eye colors can dominate. Uh, for example, the majority of people in Estonia have blue eyes, even though blue eyes, as we know, are a non-dominant trait. So when you're gazing longingly into the windows of your crush's soul, I mean, whoever it is, I'm not going to judge you, what are you actually looking at? What are you actually seeing? Well, eye color is located on the iris. It's a colored ring of muscles that dilates or narrows to regulate the amount of light entering your eye. The iris has two layers. There's the stroma and the iris pigment epithelium. The amount of color you perceive during those lingering glances, that's a product of protein pigments. Cells in your stroma called melanocyte contain melanosomes like eumelanin or pheomelanin. These melanosomes, or their absence, can play a large role in the final color of someone's eyes. The amount of melanocytes in human eyes seems to remain fairly constant. So instead, it's the amount of melanosomes in those cells that matters. As scientists continue to study both the inheritance of eye color and its possible implications for health, we're also learning that there may be much more involved here than just some cosmetic stuff. Uh, for instance, various studies have claimed that eye color can affect reactive ability, visual acuity, or vulnerability to diseases like macular degeneration. And here's where it gets a little weird. Your eye pigment can even change on its own as you age due to variations in the amount or color of pigment in your stroma. And we've also learned, of course, how to artificially change the color of someone's eyes from brown to blue using lasers. Seriously. I mean, that beats those color-changing contacts, right? But why would you want to change the color of your eyes anyway? I mean, your eyes are uh, like your fingerprints, you know? They're unique, no matter what color they are. And out of all of the billions of people in the world, I'm sure that someone out there loves your eyes in particular. 